Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Life is Strange True Colors. Alright, it looks like the Spring Festival is slowly coming to an end. And now I am supposed to meet Ryan on the rooftop because apparently he wants to show me something. But maybe I will have a quick look at the festival again and see if oh, something has changed. Neighbors? Come on. Yeah, we've seen that before. We've seen the ice cream woman. So let's just have a quick run over the festival area again. Back to the party. But I should get to the rooftop eventually. I totally will. <laughs> I mean, it would be interesting to see if I can talk to anyone and they will have something new to say. Hey, look at the music lover here. <laughs> Why are you tea posing? Hmm. Looks like she's waiting for someone. Well, let's see. Hmm. I mean, I can see this guy's emotions, but even though... The blinking dot indicates that I can look at her. Nothing is happening. I think she's I don't kind of late bugged for this out. Surprise. Time to head up to the rooftop. Hi there. Oh my god. Uh, hi. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm serious. Oh, uh, sure. Find me later, all right? Awesome! Th thank you so much! Well, this is weird. Okay, now I can see her emotions. Holy shit! Holy shit! She actually spoke to me! <laughs> okay. I'm flattered. Yeah, looks like you're a fan and she's so amazed by your performance. She just froze in place like that, apparently. The Spring Fest is pretty cool, but I should probably head up to the rooftop. That was one hell of a performance. Thanks. All right, it looks like people actually have some new dialogue here. But this guy is tea posing as well. <laughs> um, somehow there's like a glitch in the matrix here. I think um, a few things are not like they are uh, supposed to be. But okay. Um, I guess I will just head back to the rooftop. You enjoying the party, Ducky? Absolutely. With a performance like that, how could I not? <laughs> Thanks. You know, I'm no stranger to the mandolin. If you're <laughs> ever looking for backup... I'll keep that in mind. Sure, why not? Add a mandolin to your band. But yeah, um, it seems that there is a little bit of the dialogue. The surprise. Time to head up to the rooftop. But not a lot. Most people apparently left already. Okay, well, in that case, let's just head to the rooftop. Which means I have to go to the Black Lantern and then into her apartment, I suppose. At least that's what I guess he meant with rooftop. All right, let's do it. Yeah, this guy is like <laughs> frozen as well. The hmm. spring fest is pretty cool. Should I be like? I should probably head up to the rooftop. Restarting the game and see if that fixes the problem. Maybe if I just reload the next scene, it's going to be better. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was weird. All right, upstairs we go.
And apparently we're going directly to the rooftop. <laughs> Ta-da! tree oh he planted a tree I, I didn't realize that the tree wasn't there before <laughs> I can see that you shouldn't have yeah it's a tree all right thank you wilderness expert <laughs> I was more wondering why my mom used to get insomnia when I was a kid she drive over here to the lantern, three in the morning, to work in the garden. <laughs> Sometimes she'd take me with her. It's always been a special place for me. I hope it can be for you too. I mean, he does seem like the plant a tree type of person, right? I should have been taking better care of it. Come on. You've had other stuff to worry about. Totally killing that set. <laughs> You're such a rock star. Thanks. For everything. I had fun. And so did the audience. You know they're gonna make you do it again next year, right? That is definitely possible. You... you good? Yeah. Fine. Guess I've just been too wrapped up to think about what the future looks like. <laughs> okay. So, let's think about it. Alex's future in Haven Springs. The major motion picture. <laughs> the ride. On ice. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. It's more Both of them. Chilly. You can see your breath. You're walking down Main Street on the way to work. Where? The Black Lantern the record store. Hmm. I mean, she probably wouldn't mind working in the record store, you know, given her interest in music, but... Why would she want to take Steph's job? <laughs> um, I think the Black Lantern is fine for now. The Lantern. Okay. Kind of a safe choice, but... True. I get it. So, after work. Sun's still up for another couple hours. It's warm now. You're carrying your jacket under your arm. What's the plan? Play guitar, hike. Um, well, I guess playing guitar is more her kind of activity. Sit right here on the roof and play my guitar. Smart. Stay in practice. Only a few more months till the next spring fest. <laughs> anyway, someone's at the door. Who? Only the coolest person in Haven Springs. He walks up to you in an <laughs> extremely cool way. His plaid jacket swaying in the breeze. Dork. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life, but... If you decide you wanted to put down roots, Haven Springs will always make space for you. Was that a gardening pun? <laughs> no. Maybe. <laughs> a pretty obvious one, too. I... I really care about you, Alex. A lot. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. Hug or kiss? 
Well, we've been at the hug stage already, right? So I guess we need to dial it up a little bit now. Always worried. Come on, dummy, kiss her. <laughs> kiss her. Well, maybe Alex should take some initiative I here. I really want to kiss you right now. I know. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Well, it's like an explosion of happiness. <laughs> and apparently it even makes the tree um, get blooms. Fascinating. I wonder if we can actually see the flowers Wanna on the tree. Want to rejoin the festivities? I'll get you a funnel cake. Maybe you could save me one. Yeah, of course. I'll see you down there. Okay, he's not actually looking at the tree again, so I'm not sure if that's real or just her imagination. Well, um, that was kind of cute. <laughs> right, we still have a stick. Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. I mean, we haven't completely solved it yet. We know that Typhon did it, but not why. Oh, um, also, I kissed Ryan. <laughs> so, that happened. <laughs> Alex, I think it's time to finally continue our investigation and bring down Typhoon. However you plan on doing that. Alex. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. Oh dear. Oh dear. This isn't going as planned, huh? I mean, I kind of said that it might not be a, a good idea to take stolen property to the police and present it as evidence. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what did you expect, Alex? Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? 
Um, I think I'm good. I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. Because we're uh, actually out. (sighs) Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. And there we go. That's bullshit. Well, not really. The question is, can she prove it? I mean, couldn't Alex just say we found it? And I didn't know would belong to so we looked uh, at it to find out who the owner is um but i guess that's not what they did what the hell are you talking about did you steal this usb drive or not at least tell me you looked at it i can't sorry Yeah, she isn't even trying to deny it. So why didn't you look at it? What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. There we go. And two, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. I have evidence order from who? Yeah, I mean, we do kind of have evidence, but we acquired it uh, by illegal means. And I'm not a lawyer, but I have watched enough crime shows to know that no court would accept this kind of evidence, right? I mean, theoretically, she could have tampered with the USB stick after stealing it and whatnot. And um, she can't prove that uh, it's been Diane's or whatever. Maybe they exchanged it or whatever. So (laughs) you can't really uh, present this as evidence. And um, I I can't believe that Alex would be so naive to think that, you know, she could just present the stolen USB stick as evidence. Um, But yeah, this is an interesting question as well. Who gave that order? The order came down today from who? High up. Boss's boss's boss. It's not my job to know. Okay. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. Mm -hmm. I can't work with that. I get the point. Shouldn't matter. Maybe it shouldn't, but uh, you can't change reality, I'm afraid. (laughs) Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex... You're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. Okay, but I mean, for that, she still would have to prove it. Then again, I mean, Alex kind of admitted that she stole the uh, stick, so (laughs) maybe that's all... uh, She's going to need. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? It's not that bad. I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Hmm. Hmm. Why the deal? Doesn't this mean she's guilty? 
Yeah, I feel if they are already offering her a deal right now, maybe their position is not quite as strong as it looks like. Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. Fuck that. Yeah. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is uh -oh. not an option. Well, he's not angry. He's afraid. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Um, well, let's have a look at it. Also, let's have a look at the affidavit. A deal. Just like they offered Charlotte. Okay, let's see. Fuck me. Typhoon Mining Company release and waiver agreement. Typhoon Mining Company, hereby referred to as the releaser, agrees to drop all charges against Alexandra Chen, hereby referred to as the releasee. Charges to be dropped, one federal count computer fraud under USC, blah blah blah, one state count theft under CIS, blah. In exchange, the release must cease and desist all efforts to defame, surveil or otherwise harm the releaser. Signature of releasee, witness date. Okay. Well, simple but straightforward. But yeah, I don't think I don't think Alex is going to sign this. No matter no matter what happens. Um anyway, what do we got over here? Typhoon Mining Security, Subject Chen Alexandra. Anti-Typhoon Sentiment, Brother Gabriel Chen died in an accident related to Typhoon Mining Blast. Assessment, Intel shows subject has a high level of determination and efficacy. Effic 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 Negative affection has persisted beyond predicted bereavement period. Suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data and information. Oh, so they might have proof because they have been surveilling her. I mean, we see Alex and Steph in the bar. Threat assessment. Investigation summary. Began following subject after meeting with Mac Loudon. Subject met with men identified as Ryan Lucan. Little else of note. Subject spent three hours in apartment Wi-Fi screen monitoring revealed searches into Typhon's history and legal litigation records. Okay. Subject met and spoke with client in the Black Lantern. It appears subject has stolen an object from client. Okay. They actually may have some proof about the uh, theft. Or at least an um, eyewitness. Typhoon Mining Security Subject Ryan Lucan Close friend Gabriel Chen died in an accident related to Typhoon Mining Blast. Assisting Alexandra Chen with her efforts against Typhoon involved in and extremely distraught over accident. Subject has high level knowledge of both geography and residents of Haven. Okay, they have been monitoring him as well. And Steph. Stephanie Gingrich, close friend Gabriel Chen, died in an accident related to Typhoon Mining Blast. Assisting Alexandra Chen in her efforts has proven resourceful and dangerous. <laughs> okay. Is this a threat? 
What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. Huh? I don't know. I thought I could get justice. Also, I should have um, used the opportunity to read his mind before looking at the uh, um, folder because apparently now I can't do it anymore. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know what uh, she was expecting here. I don't know. I was just focused on getting the truth. The truth is that you have no idea what Typhon is capable of. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Well, I mean, if you were to ask them, you know what they would answer, right? They would say, go and take them down, and we're with you. <laughs> okay, apparently I have to make a decision here. Sign Typhoon's affidavit. Risk taking Pike's fear. Huh. Well, this is an unusual decision because... Um, this seems to be a bit of a false dichotomy, right? I mean, usually when you make these big decisions, you have two options that are actually mutually exclusive so you can do either A or B but in this case I don't really see why this is supposed to be like an either or decision <laughs> I mean couldn't I refuse to sign the affidavit but also not take his fear away or I could do both I could sign the agreement and then take his fear away so I'm not sure why this is put up as like an opposite decision and the problem is that, and just based on, you know, Alex's character and previous decisions, I think she would do neither. I see no way in hell that she's going to sign an affidavit. Yeah, she told Charlotte to sign hers, but that was about someone else. It was about Ethan and his future. And at that point, we didn't really understand how um, deeply involved Typhoon was in this. I think at this point... Um, signing the affidavit is completely out of the question for Alex. He's not going to do this. But um, we also established that she kind of draws the line using her powers when it's like actually manipulating people by, you know, taking their emotions away. So I feel she wouldn't do this either. But in this case, I have to pick an option where I feel she would really do neither. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to decide uh, where she is going to carve in and decide to do something against her normal convictions. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they put it up as like an either or decision because if I don't sign the affidavit and don't take his fear away, then... I don't know, Alex is going to prison or whatever and you can't continue the story. But that would still leave open the possibility to do both, right? Sign the affidavit and then take his fear away and hope that maybe after that he will help us. But again, that's not an option. But yeah, um, I think I will have to go for this option, taking his fear away, because I think his... Um, I think Alex's opposition to signing the affidavit is stronger in this case than you know using her powers in this way and I guess you could kind of argue in her defense that this situation is not exactly like the one with Charlotte 
because in Charlotte's case I feel it was more like an internal conflict that she had to work through so just taking that internal conflict away would not be a good idea because she kind of had to come to terms with um, her emotions. In this case the cause for um, his fear is external so um, I guess it's not quite the same. <laughs> it's still a bit of a cop-out but like I said she has to go against her conviction one way or the other and I think in this case she's going to use her powers um, to well manipulate sort of Pike so she doesn't have to sign the affidavit since the game doesn't give me any other choices here so yeah let's do it do you want to risk your life over this Gabe Mac Alex who's next fuck 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 just keep your head down Tony you're just a shit heel Typhon's major league Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Hmm. Let them get killed. Not you. Okay. Guess it worked. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Have courage for Gabe. Yes, now that I took your fear away, you can have a bit more courage, I suppose. Just have a little courage. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank well, you. Well, that's something at least. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex. Okay. Be careful. I hope this is going to be helpful and he will finally <laughs> investigate the evidence we presented to him. Alex, come see me when you get the chance, Jet. Okay. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? <sighs> and what will they do if... <sighs> oh dear. <sighs> What's going on? Is she like having a panic attack because of the fear she took from Pike? Okay, apparently it's over already. Well, better her now. I have no idea what Pike. to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Then maybe we should do that. First, I need to get out of this dress. Right. Um, and I got uh, maybe some messages. I should start charging for my services. My blog, two of your neighbors have changed their relationship status. Josh Hopkins and Julia Crow are now in a relationship. Oh my god, finally, for real men. <laughs> Come on, did everyone know about us? Apparently so. I'll treasure it too, Ryan. Enjoy that ice cream. Avalanche ice cream. Sadly, the spring festival is over, but the fun continues at Avalanche ice cream. Share your favorite memory from the festival in the comments and get one scoop on us. I like when Josh burned his mouth on the chili. I didn't. 
Better get a free scoop on that Burns dead. The music hands down. We love the set too. One free scoop. I shared a moment with someone very special and connected with her in a way I will treasure forever. Oh, that's cute. Damn, dude, I think you deserve two scoops for that one. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Haven Springs. What a festival haven. We ate, drank and made merry. We tasted chilies and we rocked to some music and enjoyed a lovely spring night in our beautiful town. Thanks for another great year, everyone. Great festival. And thanks to our business partners and everyone who put so much work into making this festival possible. Our pleasure. The smiles and laughter make it all worth. Best part of the year. <laughs> Typhoon did not reply to this, even though I guess they are also business partners. I'm glad Ducky had a nice night. He deserves it. It turned out to be a great spring fest after all. Really good to see you out there this year, Duck. It's certainly a time for new beginnings. That's a spirit, Ducky. Um, yeah, that's all of it. And yeah, we have another entry here. Pike Fear. Okay, yeah. Um, but first, let's go and change into something more comfortable. Skirt time is over. I look better than I feel. Hm. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Can I, like, change? No, I can't change into something else. Apparently, I have only one option here. Um, the question is... That must be Ryan's. I guess the night wasn't all bad. <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't. Ducky. Hope he's doing okay. Looks like I'm on my own now. I don't want to drag Ryan and Stefan any deeper. Well, I'm sure they would help you. This isn't over, Gabe. I promise. No. No, but the question is, um... What is going to be our next step? I mean, we kind of have to hope that Pike will come through and maybe bring up some more evidence, some evidence we can actually use in a court. I had no idea what I was getting into, did I? Buried secrets, evil mining corporations, death threats. Huh. I didn't realize how awful it would all be. Well, but it also had some good sides, right? You made new friends and so on. I put my friends' lives in danger. For what? Was it all for nothing? Can I share? I hope not. With you? Can I hold you in my arms? I'm gonna whisper. All right, I think she's done talking. I'm gonna hold you close. Tonight. So let's just continue. Yep, the tables seem to have turned, all right. <laughs> yep, the tables have turned. The question is for the better or not? I think I'm all played out for tonight. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. Maybe I'll just bike out to the mine, dig up some answers <laughs> myself. Well, maybe you should. Maybe there's still something to be found. Feels like the LARP was a hundred years ago. Yep. Anyway, um, I think there might be more stuff over here. Can't wait to have nightmares tonight. <laughs> uh, always look on the bright side, Alex. Um, okay. Looks like I checked I out. I feel a bit better. 
everything. I guess I can go see the boss man now. Let's go and see the boss man. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting mm. spring festival than you planned for. In more than one way. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. Hmm. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. Hmm. What have I got to lose? At this point, not much. Take a shot. Typhoon killed Gabe. Typhoon threatened Ryan. I feel this is the more important part um, of the story. But yeah, first let's let's take a shot here. I think she can use it. All right, yeah, Typhoon killed Gabe, and we can kind of prove it, but not really, because the evidence is stolen. <laughs> Typhoon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed some secret they buried I don't know what it is I don't even know what to do next but I'm not giving up not ever that red light behind him makes him look like he has angry emotion or up I know what they're hiding Oh. So what is it? Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. Hmm. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. Okay. Well, um, looks like we actually have a new lead. There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Great. So you're telling me I have to go down here? Why are you sad? Uh oh. Oh no. What the hell, Jet? I'm sorry, kid. 
I guess you actually were the evil king, huh? Uh, put the gun down. What's happening? Yeah, what what are you trying to do here? Okay. Just put the gun down. I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. Oh. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. Okay. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. Uh-oh. Wow. Wow. He actually pulled the trigger. Um, well... This is not good. Not good at all. The kind of thing you can't undo. <laughs> Well, I wonder what exactly he did. I guess we won't find out. Yep, this is this is the end of the chapter. I kind of thought it would be. Uh, what a cliffhanger. What a cliffhanger. <laughs> and yeah, apparently Jet is uh, involved in this cover-up. I guess it kind of makes sense. If there was anyone in town who would maybe have... A reason to side with Typhoon it would be Jet at least among the people that you know we talk to one among like the main protagonists of the game because he worked for them and you know they gave him the Black Lantern so I guess it makes kind of sense that um, he would take their side but I mean something really bad must have happened if he is willing to go this far um, to continue the cover-up. But I guess we won't find out until the next episode. And again, I will look at the stats at the beginning of the next episode. But for now, let's call it a day as always. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.